Well, hello there. This is Jay Shock Blast, and uh, what we have here today is the collector's edition of Guild Wars 2. And all I can say is, holy shit, this thing is monstrous. Uh, I was not expecting it to be so big, and it is. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and dig right into it because I want to see this thing right here uh, guild wars 2 collector's edition uh way too big for the frame uh box is very white and not very fancy uh it does show the the contents right here that we are going to see in just a moment and another logo so unboxings are always such a challenge uh, to get right, we're gonna hope this one's not too bad. Um, I am probably the most unlikely of collector's edition purchasers because uh, I've never played the first Guild Wars. I totally bought this on a whim because I saw a picture of that little statue in there and I said, God damn it, I need to have that, and God damn it, now I do. So that's the attitude I take. I guess, as the kids say, how I roll. So, uh, got this filler cardboard that I just took out. I know you really can't see a whole heck of a lot, and that's how these unboxings tend to go. At first, and now you're going to have a really super close-up on this guy while I see what the heck else is in this box. I, uh, I don't really remember. Alright, so, first things first, yeah, you probably just got a sneak peek of my light, um, which is not really doing a very good job. So that is this guy. I uh, probably should know what he is, and I don't. Let's uh, try coming back a little bit. You can see I already have the game loaded in the background, uh, the benefits of pre-purchasing. Uh, so there are a lot of these little clips. Um, I have to have better scissors than this, don't I? I don't. I'm going to work on that. It seems pretty important. Uh, this bad boy was $149.95. And here I am with three scissors. Totally going to break everything. This is probably the part that I should skip but it's the part that I like to fill in with uh, empty space. Um, or with words, lots of words. Um, so I have a lot of friends that always tell me, hey, you should play Guild Wars. And I say, hey, I probably should. And I never did. Well, that's a lie. I downloaded the demo and I decided I'm gonna play this a little bit. And I played it for a little bit a little bit being about a half hour, maybe an hour. And I said, okay, I get it. I'll wait for Guild Wars 2. So I did the pre-purchase thing um, so I could play the beta at least once, because that was a catastrophe. Um, then these things, they aren't fucking around. Apologies for my language, I am a potty mouth. Uh, anyway, I played enough of the pre-purchase beta to know, hey, this is pretty cool. I should probably buy it. That's when I went all in, did the collector's edition, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. And I almost have it. That's that's the worst part. Um, all right, first thing in the morning. All right, second thing in the morning. I'm buying new scissors because these things have got it. This is the most annoying part of opening stuff like this, but fortunately you only have to do it once. It's a little twisty tie bugger of things. Uh, so anyway, the last time I kind of bought something like this on such a whim was Skyrim, uh, because, you know, if you've heard that story before, sorry, I'm gonna tell it again. Um, I, uh, I really had never played Oblivion. I bought and sold it a couple times, 
uh, but really only made it a couple of, like an hour or two in and I decided you know what I gotta get the Skyrim game and I did oh come on there's one in the foot yo this is a conspiracy so I've almost got him out I apologize I'm working really hard apparently this guy's name is Rye Rightlock Brimstone all you actual Guild Wars fans are cringing at how undeserving I am, and you have every right to. But I can tell you that I became quite the Skyrim fan, and I have no doubt that I will soon become quite the Guild Wars fan. So I have to use a lot of artificial light because this camera is not what I had hoped it would be. And that is this Ryloth guy. I'm going with Ryloth. He has a really huge sword, and it's pretty awesome. And you can indulge me another few seconds. Uh, this is the, sh the crappy part of doing a true unboxing, is the opening and unboxing. But I think you guys all knew that you were going to be dealing with that, because I am definitely the Rambler. Um, sword is almost out. So I'm not looking forward to fighting this guy because that's what I'm assuming that we're going to have to do, which is why he looks all big, beefy, and mean. Watch him be like a total good guy. Alright, so here we go. This is the sword. I'm going to bring it under the light a little bit more. Uh, it's a dragon shooting fire in the form of a sword. Put it in his big old hand. And here we go. The finished product. So this thing is awesome. This is how you do a special edition. Uh, it's better than the dragon that came with Skyrim. Uh, if we can zoom in nice and close on his face. You know, the lighting just doesn't do it justice. Because he is one ugly mofo. He's huge. Um, you know, just a, a monster of a monster. So now we can show you his base that you'll never look at. Rylock, Rightlock, Brimstone. Gildor's 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, heavy PVC, rubberized, Vulcan y stuff. Um, very, very high quality. Basically, I think made with the same stuff that uh, Alduin. The Skyrim statue is made of, and you know that's cool. All right, so that works a little bit better. It gives you a really good shot of the statue. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull out the other contents inside the box. Wow, this is actually way cooler than I thought it was. Holy cow! So this, I, mean, I gotta back this thing up. That's a tin. And that tin holds all the contents. Guild Wars 2 Collector's Edition. It's all nice and proper. Really neat presentation. So what do we have in here? Ooh. Prints. So I'm assuming that is this guy right over here in the background. It's fiery doom. 
there is a piece of paper that separates each one of these which is cool try not to get my grubby mitts on them I don't know who this chick is but you guys can tell me everybody is just sitting there saying man I can't believe this jerk bought this thing and I don't have it and you're right no I'm not interested in giving it away because it's actually one of the coolest collector's editions I think I've ever seen. I'm, I'm already willing to say that. There's this big old monstery thing and you can kind of see down in the corner the scale of what that monster is. I'm really looking forward to playing this game some more. Um, joining up with my buddy TOA Ska and the rest of the TOA gr group and crew and dudes and dudettes. And here's this chick. Um, I don't know what the official size on these is. I'm doing my best to get this to stand up. Alright, whatever. We're at an angle. Um, they're not 8x10s. They're probably more like 8x13s. They're kind of long. They're an awkward length and size. I'm sure it says the exact size on the print somewhere. Um, but they're nice. They're very nice. And I want to go ahead and put them back in properly. Not get them all bent up. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Um, I, I, I can't hang them. I don't really have space for them, so I'll figure something out. Uh, but they're nice. They are really nice. So NC Soft uh, definitely did a great job putting this package together. Um, this is this is definitely how you do a collector's edition. I mean, just just those prints and this big guy up there. That that really sells it by itself. Uh, this wow, jeez. I mean, I don't even know what this this is like framed. Wow. Hold on. So this one's already framed. Remove protective film from both sides. So I'm hoping I can take this one out. I can probably find room for one of these things. This one's nice and all, but I like the guy, uh, the, the rat lock or right, right lock brimstone, that guy. I like his picture a lot more. Um, A little stand doesn't say what size it is as it falls. So here's the collector's edition of the game, uh, which I already have installed. Let me. Uh, there is my character that I am calling Revan Juno because somehow. Juno was taken. Um, installation manual. Keyboard and mouse controls. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to need those. I, I'm so bad at keyboard and mouse games. Um, go ahead and hide my serial code. Everybody likes to laugh that I posted even after I redeem it. So there's the disc, disc one, there's uh, two discs, I don't know, I already have it installed, yeah, two discs, so just a fairly basic, you know, packaging, which is always kind of funny to me, that how they put the, the basic packaging on the collector's editions and the nicer packaging on the full editions. Um, so what else we got in here? We got the soundtrack. This is a really cool presentation. They put this together really well. Uh, so fear not the, this night, blah, blah, blah. Tyrion Overture, Heritage of Humanity, the Saga of the Norn, Asura at Work, the Char Triumphant. Okay. Then we have the making of Guild Wars 2, 
which, you know, I am zoomed all the way out, by the way, I think. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to move this tin. We'll show you a little bit of this. Then we'll call it a wrap. So it's a nice hard book of no in particular shape. These things are definitely need to have a standardized shape at some point. You know, it's broken up into chapters. Shows this little guy. Now, one of my friends, Sean, uh, he is playing as this guy right here, apparently. He said this is the way to go, but I'm being stubborn with an engineer. Um, I don't know why I'm doing engineer. I've heard archer is the way to go, but I just I feel the need to do engineer. Uh, concept art. It's so hard to show these books off when you're kind of by yourself. Um, I'm looking at it through the viewfinder, and you know I know it, it's such a hard time to fit in the frame. Um, I can't really tell, you know, what's what I should be showing, what I shouldn't be. Got the glare of the light, but I think you guys get the picture. It's a nice book. Um, you know, the char. I'm a human. I'm boring. Uh, I, I totally have a human engineer guy because I, I just can't ever, in these type of games, place myself, you know, in the role of, you know, some type of creature or some mythical elf or... I know that that's kind of the point of these fantasy games, but I always make myself a human. Um, I just don't get it. I, I don't know... Are there good guys and bad guys in this game? Like, literally, I am the Guild Wars 2 noob. Um, so I need you guys to help me. Uh, teach me all I need to know about Guild Wars. Uh, this is the Norn, who... I am not a Norn. The Silvari. Really, I guess what I need to do is read this book. The Asura. So I think this is what my friend Sean is playing as. Uh, we're on the Isle of Janthier. Uh, here's my boring human. Uh, that's the server that I'm playing on. With all my TOA buddies. And uh, designing the game. I mean, the game looks fantastic. Um, I'm not really a big MMO person. I want to be. I want to play more. But I just haven't. I'm more of an RPGer. Uh... Star Wars The Old Republic was my first real big MMO that I kind of got into and I loved it and I really want to play it some more but you know I guess like everybody else it gets old after a while um, yeah this is this looks nice um, you know I think you get the point I'm also I'm really bad at charging things so my battery is about to die but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and try to wrap it up it's probably good because people usually complain that I talk too much which I do, I, I'm guilty as charge. I, I love talking, and uh, usually about nothing in particular. So, this is awesome. This is how you do it. Congratulations, NTSoft. This is an absolutely spectacular, amazing, awesome special edition. Uh, $149.95 US. I would buy it again because it is awesome. And this statue is incredible. I mean, as I beat my light. Uh, let's try this one more time. Take one last look at uh, this guy, Mr. Brimstone. He's awesome. And I am going to go ahead and start playing some Guild Wars 2. You see that ugly guy? Feel free to slap him in the dick. Not literally. Although I don't know if there's any other way to do it. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is uh, this is cool. This was worth it. So, uh, Jay Shockblast here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, this was entertaining. Feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. Feel free to tell me I'm awesome. And subscribe. And thank you. And goodbye. I'm gonna go play some Guild Wars too.